The Sun is Also a Star, pages 153 to 154. Samuel Kingsley, A History of Regret, Part 2. Samuel Kingsley was certain being famous was his destiny. Surely God wouldn't have gifted him with all this talent with no place to display it. And then Patricia came along. Surely God wouldn't have given him a beautiful wife and children if he didn't need to provide for them. Samuel remembers the moment he met her. They were in, still in Jamaica, in Monago Bay. It had been raining outside, one of those tropical storms that starts as suddenly as they stop. He ducked into a clothing store for shelter so he wouldn't be soaked for his audition. She was the store manager, so the first time he saw her, she was wearing a name tag and looked very official. Her hair was short and curly, and she had the biggest, prettiest, shiniest eyes he'd ever seen. He never could resist a shy girl. All that caution and mystery. He quoted Bob Marley and Robert Frost. He sung. Patricia never stood a chance against the force of his charm. His audition time came and went, but he didn't care. He couldn't get enough of those eyes that widened so dramatically at the slightest flirtation. Still, a part of him had to stay away. Some president part of him saw the two paths diverging in the yellow wood. Maybe if he'd chosen the other path, if he'd left the store instead of stayed, it would have made all the difference.